hello everyone today in this video we'll be learning how to work with ui explorer okay this is the thing which you can see here as ui explorer right so let's consider a simple example i'll be dragging and dropping type into okay i'll be dragging and dropping what type into here now to type into something i should indicate that on screen right so for that i'll have to open notepad let's open notepad So after I have uh, opened uh, notepad, I have to type some text here. Okay, so let's keep it as such and indicate on screen. When I click on indicate on screen, it will give me the option I will be indicating here. And here what I will be typing is, I will be first typing what? Apple. Okay, I have typed Apple here and I will be just running this file as usual. So as expected, what will happen? It will open the notepad and inside that what it will write apple okay so let's uh, have a visualization of that then uh, i'll explain you what actually uh, we are trying to do in this video okay apple is written here and the program entered now uh, if i just save this file okay i'll be saving this file here save as and i'll be giving the name also like apple only or apple 3 something random name it doesn't matter so i have saved uh, with some name okay now again what i'll do i'll execute i want to write apple the second time so what should happen as the expectation uh, what should happen is it will it should go to the notepad and it should um, write apple uh, beside the previous text which was apple right so apple apple should be there but uh, that does not happen as uh, expected something else happens let's have a look at that See, what has happened is the search has failed and what they are seeing is the values information is given okay and here the title name is untitled notepad it was trying to search this name untitled notepad but what they found is apple 3 notepad as the current notepad's name 90 percent it is matched so they were not able to find this exact thing why this happened is before when i had not saved it and it was just untitled they saved uh, this name untitled notepad and for the future reference also they'll use the same name to match and find out what app i'm using but now since i have changed the name that was not told to the program right that was not told to the program so for that um, the program was unaware of it and it was not able to find the exact name so for that what we need to do is we have to edit this name right so how we will edit this name go to the open in ui explorer and there what we will be writing is untitled notepad is there right we have what uh, name we had saved if you remember if you don't remember see here what name we had stored apple 3 okay so we'll be writing here apple 3 and then saving it so the notepad now knows means this program now knows which is the actual name of it so it will access that exact thing so now as expected it will happen the apple will be written beside apple so the notepad content will be apple apple okay So that's all uh, what was there in this video. Make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. This was about working with UI Explorer. And um, I'll explain the further concept in the next video. And thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.